Welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. So the last couple videos on this have gone absolutely crazy. If you'd like this series to continue, you know what to do. But for those of you who are new, or for those of you who just want to hear the glory of the Ant Empire once more, this is Empires of the Undergrowth. Now, yeah, it's a game where it's, it's like Sim Ant. We're going to build empires of ants. We're going to defend our queen. We're going to conquer enemy bugs, maybe other ant empires as well. And today's video is a little bit extra special because it's bringing in one of my favorite game modes, and that is Wave Defense. Now, there was an older mode, but they've since updated it, and this one is incredible. I played it briefly, and basically we're going to have to continually expand while fighting off incursions. Now, in the expansion process, they're going to be guarded by nasty bugs. We're going to be invaded by bugs, and they're going to get bigger, better, and more, which it's not good when the enemy is getting stronger, larger numbers, and better fighting powers, right? We don't like that, so we're gonna have to increase our army until we reach a critical wave number where we get defeated, so let's see where that is. So one of the cool things about this is we get to unlock our starting ants. Now, I've unlocked the Trapjaw ant previously. He was, I think, 60 points. So we've got 27 remaining, and depending on how many waves I survive in this game, I'll be able to unlock more and more and more. And you can see that I can unlock other species of ants and also upgrades for them, but we're not there yet. But if you'd like us to bring it back or maybe even stream this game. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is get some of this food here. So I'm gonna move the queen's, you know, royal uh, um, butt wipers here. These are the ants that wipe the butt of the queen. We're gonna move them over there. Uh, to capture this food and we're gonna set up new food storage facilities to drop that food on and Then shortly thereafter we're gonna need to expand right quick like so I'm thinking Food stores are full. That's always good news So this was a little bit earlier than I would have wanted our workers encountered one of these stagecoach uh, larvas, but they did Discover a lot of new food. So I'm thinking what we want to do actually is since we got a lot of food Let's go ahead and put some trap jaws down and uh, We're gonna want to get some workers as well. Where are we gonna start expanding here? We could do trap jaws here and uh, workers over here now with the trap jaws once they're done These guys should be able to like only with two or three be able to beat some of those stagecoach larvas the next wave 40 seconds from now Let's get some more workers as well. And so there's a lot of multitasking going on here. So now we can finally do that. And keep the queen's, uh, you know, butt wipers near the queen. Where the butt wipings need to be wiped. Increase our workers. And remember that we're going to want to continually expand. So let's see what's guarding this next little patch here. So we're going to keep these workers and the soldiers together at this little bit in time. And look at that, trap jaws make quick work of that. I'm really glad we decided to upgrade that. Okay, so this wave came in from the north and it's one of these, not a problem. What we can do is bring control group two, which we're gonna make these trap jaws and you know what, don't collect food. Just eat the bad guys. And I tell you what, man, our food storage needs to be greatly expanded because we're just earning so much right now. So we'll go ahead and just expand, grab the food that's near us. We are envoys and we take what is given. Sorry, that is this isn't altered carbon. I'm very excited for the new season. All right, next wave is in 36 seconds. Our soldiers are already crazy superior to most of the stuff we're encountering. So let's go ahead and bring them down. We got 27 seconds to do this. We'll have the workers up there, attackers down here, start digging in here because this is where our trap jaws, our first squad is. We can start working on a second one, maybe a Praetorian guard type situation. And let's just get mass up food storage up there. All right, now we're gonna continually expand. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Hold that. Hold that thought. We're gonna be attacked from the north, and it's oh, it's just a couple of these sissy boys. We don't care for you. So that will make quick work of that. Not a problem. The one issue we keep running into is just we're just so dang good. Oh snap! That's bad. That's what you call bad news. We will hold them here at the hot gates. We'll have an Anthermopoly down here. We dug too deep and they call it a mine. All the Lord of the Rings memes because we're scared. We're the dwarves and these buggies are the uh, goblins. I mean, what, what, what am I supposed to do? We're rich. I mean, this is a good problem to have, but it is still an issue. 
I think what I want to do is work on a second patch of workers. Now, I want them kind of close to the queen. All right, the next wave's coming in one second. Oh, it's coming from over here. Oh, and they're ants, so they can dig. They're going to... Oh, they're going to dig in right here. All right, we'll meet them. It's a, it'll be a beautiful ambush. And then we'll send all of our workers down there to gather. So <laughs> look at all these trap jaws just like, We's hungry, lads. All right, so there they go. So they've dug another access point to our queen, which we're going to have to guard. So that that's just... That's just called the facts of the matter. As some would say, it's the T. And what we want to do here is start working on our second group of workers. I'm making a lot of hasty decisions, and we all know, don't be hasty, Master Hobbit. But we are being. So I'm thinking, let's dig right over here. Because we're eventually going to encounter whatever this is. Easy! It's one of those. And we'll keep the trap jaw squadron as we'll call them on. They will not gather food. They will just fight. The next wave is in eight seconds. It's either gonna come from the north or I believe the east. And no, I did not say weast. Oh God, okay, so I was totally wrong. This looks like red fire ants invasion. Let's go ahead and hold them at the gates. Control group two, you're a bunch of workers. You're not meant to fight, but you will today. The food stars are full, me lord. Whoa, they got some spitting going on here, gross. All right, all the while, upgrading and expanding. It must continue. We must not stop in our efforts. We'll just, all of this. Oh, snap! That's a big bad bug right there. We can defeat it. All right, next wave is in 38 seconds. We'll just continue to expand over here on the western front. All's quiet over here. Well, we dug and opened up two of them. And one of the things that we can do is also upgrade speedy tiles, which would be kind of cool. I want some speedy tiles. That way, around the queen... Oh, I guess we could have had, like, a really quick tunnel point. We could still do that. That's one thing we definitely want to do in the future. All right, what do we got coming in from the north? Ooh, nasty little spiteys. They're gross. I'm not entirely sure, like, the best way to lay out our base just yet. I used to play Empires of the Undergrowth quite a bit, as you can see from the past videos. And like I said, if you guys want me to play more, we can definitely do that, so let's upgrade that. But one of the things is, like, how do we lay out the base? What's the optimal layout? Because we're definitely, look at that, by upgrading that, we increased our storage. Maybe one of the things we should do is start upgrading some of these trap jaws. Also, getting more is always good. We're still fighting these nasty little critters. They, they, they don't like to die, they, they keep evading us. Now we're already at wave six. Normally in these wave defense modes, like wave 10, every five to 10, it seems to be like a big deal, right? But I'm, I'm having, I don't know, I'd say it's kind of challenging for me to multitask. It's not necessarily my speciality, you know. All right, they're gonna be coming in from over here. What is this? Ooh, mole crickets. I think this is a pretty good area to fight them off. And I think it might be time to work on like another group of uh, trap jaws, which I guess one of the things we could do is use this area here, but put some like upgrades in between them. So that's one of the thing I'm gonna do. I think we'll put speedy pads here to segment because normally, and this will be what control group four we'll have now. So that way we'll be able to just expand what twice as fast, presumably. Oh God, bigger daddy long legs. And they're gonna run right into this worker squadron, which is Gonna get wrecked, so let's pull, let's pull them back. Where do we want them? Is there any food that's left? I guess they could just assist. There, are they running away? Bravely, bravely, bravely running away? All right, I'll have control group one coming over here and doing a lot of the work on expansion. Since they do have six warrior trap jaws and 16 workers, that should be pretty decent. We're, we're handling our business here, but our food's almost out and we're gonna want more, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh god, is that more than we can chew? I don't know, man. I'm not a scientist. I'm a queen ant. Look at this. What are they doing over there? They're gonna stack up on the next wave is one of my fears. There we go, we got one of them. There's only one of them left. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can we kill it? I do believe we can. So I think that's what we should do is work on little expansion armies that will, you know, fight with workers and gather food while we have the main army dealing with the waves. All right, what's this next wave? This is wave nine, so the big one is the next one, wave 10. All right, bring in the warriors, control group one, get out of there, start expanding. Oh, I don't know. 
Over here. So how do we do against hermit crabs? Hermit crabs are like the tanks. Ooh, I like how the trap jaws will jump back when they're starting to take damage. So it keeps them alive. I thought that was like another bug doing that. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, not a problem. These hermit crabs are definitely holding their own though in a battle. You can see on the minimap, I'd say we're what? Maybe 20 to 30% somewhere in there as far as like explored most of this. Maybe even, well, maybe not even that. There we go. All right, what are we encountering? Ooh, those, you know that giant spider that we fought in the last video? The biggest spider, these are his babies. Oh God, and there's one of the, uh, Starship Troopers bugs. It just reminds me of the big guy that shoots plasma out of his butt and takes out capital ships that are like in freaking space and stuff. Okay, we've got to fight. Oh, snap. So this is wave 10. This is, what would you say, our first little uh, boss fight. So what I'm going to do actually is have the main army engage wherever they are. Oh, here they are. A little bit late on the time, and then I'm going to have these guys ambush them maybe. Let's see if it works. Control group one attack. All right, all the while, control group two is gonna be gathering this food, which we have an exorbitant amount of at the moment. You know what, we'll cut this out and put speedy pads here. So make our guys move super fast, all the while segmenting this. We'll leave it there. How are we doing? Pretty good. Time to expand. Control group three and control group one have let met up in the field of battle. We're gonna wanna split them up, I think, to be efficient. So we'll send control group one down there. All the while, let's let's start expanding. What's what's this stuff? Let's, let's fight it and kill it. The battle has begun. And so all the while, let's start upgrading. That's not, this is not bad, not bad. Seven seconds, we've cleared this stuff out. Um, ooh, grasshoppers. Well, luckily they came down the pipe right here and encountered our main army. So we're fighting a war on two fronts, and I'd say that the here, whoa. Are we, I don't, I, I can't entirely tell if we're losing here or if they just keep pushing us back and it's just a very long drawn out battle, which is what it appears to be. I can't wait till we have like other types of ants that we will have unlocked from having played this mode quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, even now, like, we're, we're almost at the food cap. So let's just <laughs> increase the size of this army considerably. Ooh, a big army of black ants and red ants are coming. So move the army to intercept. Okay, we got some spitters against us and they, wow, they absolutely routed some of the remaining workers. Those, look at the, okay, so you see those three little diamonds? That means these guys are upgraded three times. That's why they look like almost like ant machine guns at the moment. And unfortunately, I'm realizing that one of the things that's gonna make this mode even more difficult is the fact that the enemies are gonna be upgraded too. Oh, we thought it wasn't possible, but it is. And we don't like it. The food stores are full? All right, well, let's expand the Liebenstrom here for the ants. We must get more food storage facilities. And probably upgrade them. We can definitely do that. Okay, what's what's coming in? Oh my god, it's Captain America spiders. Everybody converge on this area. This is kind of obscene. Oh my god, they're jumping? Well, of course they're jumping. Why, why wouldn't they jump? They're jumping spider. Okay. That was like a Blitzkrieg attack, and it seemed super scary. But they were actually relatively weak, but they could have bonsai charged us. I believe it's the technical term for what those spiders were doing. Bonsai charge, right? So, wave 13, how does it feel? It feels dangerous. 1,000 food. Okay, I, I think it's clear to me that I am not adequately managing my empire if I have that much resources stockpiled. Isn't that just one of the hallmarks of RTS games? If you got a lot of money, well, start spending it. Okay, we, we spent all of it, yikes. <laughs> I blew all the money, guys. I have no idea how it happened. Uh-oh, we'll probably have to send the army down here. This is the issue. Oh yeah, they, that, they definitely won. And another wave's coming in, in two seconds, so depending on the speed at which they arrive, which is super freaking fast, oh my god. Protect the queen, screw it. Jeez, freaking. Wolf spiders, giant wolfing spiders. Do we do we kill these things finally? Oh, thank the l goodness. Thank the queen ant. God save the queen ant. So look at this. Those these guys are nasty. 
All right, are we able to gather this food? Not really. Look at that. Control group one's totally empty. All right, so control group three is gonna have to be set on food duty. That's the issue. Okay, so they're dropping the food and we're getting everybody respawned right away. Oh my god, I, if I hadn't realized that, we would be totally dead. Dead, dead, dead. Deader than dead. Uh-oh. Did I bite off more than I can chew again? Whoa! Yeah, Starship Troopers bug is doing that, you know, butt cannon trick, which is just nasty. But very, very, uh, effective, we'll say. And now we've got ants coming in from over here, so where are you gonna dig your tunnel? Oh, that's actually perfect. Come on and join the party! Oh, you better not unlock the Balrog. <laughs> what is this, Lord of the Rings ants? Oh shoot, they're outmaneuvering me. You silly nasties! We'll hold them here. Welcome to a trap jaw ambush! Are these guys upgraded? We need to upgrade our guys. You're right, you're right. Upgrade! And we're definitely low on food. I think we need more ants to serve the queen. So we'll do that here. These are really just derpy little caverns. <laughs> they really are. I mean, you know? But that should help. More people to do the queen's bidding, right? Oh, big old tiger beetles. This is not good. Because they've got us in a funnel. And we don't have spitters. It's wave 16. I, I don't know, man. It's not looking the best. Pull back. Everybody pull back to the open land. No, we're winning. Okay, never mind. Oh god, I I'm like that commander who just can't make his mind up. And as a result, we lose a lot more soldiers than we probably otherwise should have. So wave 16, what are you gonna bring to us today? I don't see anything on the minimap. Oh my god, what? Oh, freak! Praying mantises are like invisible on the radar. Or the minimap, rather. There's no ant radars, right? Ant dars? Dar dars? So that was actually really scary. I didn't see them pop up. Okay, so that's scary. Maybe a Praetorian Guard type situation would be something that would be good to start working on. Alright, what's coming in? Oh my god, a massive army of crabs. Alright, meet them here. Hold them here, gentlemen. We shall send in all of our armies. Well, these guys gather the food. I'm definitely not very good at laying out a base. If you look at the, it just, it looks like a human made a home for ants, which is exactly what happened. There's a lot of hermits holding out in our like larva fields right here. The next wave is actually coming in eight seconds. So we're not really finishing off these hermit crabs fast enough. A lot of, I don't, I don't what are you guys doing? That doesn't look like a a strategic maneuver, guys, because... Oh, no. Who's going to hold the line? Well, this is where we fight. This is where we die. Uh, they're going to die, but we're going to die more. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain, because these crabs... I, I don't know what this is. I've never seen that before. It seems like it's an error. Is this a glitch or a feature? And everything that's coming against this wave is absolutely getting riggedy riggedy wrecked. And it's only wave 19? This is gonna go presumably to infinity? It'd be really fun to see if we couldn't get... Oh, here we go, okay. We're gonna be able to control... Call in the army after just defeating those guys. Let's call in the workers to gather the food. And control group one, you're gonna be sent on soldier duty. Yeah, so we're, we're getting food back while we're fighting. Which... I don't know. I, I think we'll hold, but the next wave's already coming in about 30 seconds. So I think by the time we clear this out finally, we're gonna have problems in whatever's gonna be coming in next. So let's go ahead and open this up so that we can get some uh, surround on these guys because they're using the choke point against us right now because we have greater numbers, they have ranged Damage. So there we go. This should allow us to start surrounding them, get more pincers and biters on the enemy flesh pots. Mm -hmm. All right, what is this? Oh, trap jaw ants that are tier three. All right, this probably is the end. I'm thinking things are not looking good. So trap jaws versus trap jaws, except there's, I don't know, they, they've probably got 50 right here and they're all tier three. Most of mine are, I don't know, tier two it looks like. So we need to get better at probably upgrading 
and setting up our base. So I, I think if we were to give it another go, plus we're gonna see how many points we unlocked, and I'll ask you guys which ants you think we should upgrade next. Cause this does not, yeah. Look at how fast. Tier three trap jaws. So that was wave 20, right? That was like a boss wave. So as trap jaws consume the queen, who we were sworn to protect? Ugh. It only has me thinking, I cannot wait to play this again. So we got defeated, yes, and level. But we got 395 points here to upgrade. So when we're to go back here, I'm gonna need your guys' help. So we go to other modes and extra levels and I'm on the beta branch. Then you go to extremis. And now with these 422 points, we can up we can purchase a lot of ants. So look at this, we've got the mortar wood ants and the rapid fire wood ants. So the amount of ants we're gonna be able to purchase, we're gonna have so many different groups. We've got the black ant already and the trap jaw ant. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking rapid, is it, which one's better? Mortar or rapid fire? Either way, we've got this many points. Let me know what we should upgrade. And if you guys wanna see more and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for